Part of my journey is to say that, especially in the society of not enough that we live in, not enough money, not smart enough, not beautiful enough, not resource enough, I don't know enough, I'm not networked enough, whatever the not enough conversation is, what it gets in the way of is the fact that who we are is exactly who we're meant to be, including the things that we've been taught are bad about us. Because I got in trouble for being stubborn. I got in trouble for the fact that I saw the world in a different way. And as a result, I became very, very self-destructive for a long time. And then I learned how to use who I am to make a positive difference. And to me, that's what makes the story, for me, interesting, that uh, I work with youth who are considered at risk. And one of the things I tell them is that I'm probably the only person who's going to tell them that they don't need to change themselves, they just need to change that when we're taught we have to change ourselves, we're taught that we're not good enough. And yet, my experience is, is who we are is who we're meant to be. And all we have to do is find a way to offer that to what we care about. So that's how that kind of led me into the tree, really, was just being stubborn and loving trees and being the person who questioned, why are we still cutting these trees down? And uh, I'm not the only one who questioned that. And the final thing I'll say is part of what got me into the tree and got me here is that when I found out that 90, at that time, 97% of the infrastructure were gone and that we were still cutting them down and the way we're cutting them down is so horrific and destructive, I felt like I needed to do something, but then I had my own not enough conversation. I'm not an activist. I don't even know how to be an activist. I don't know anybody. They have plenty of people working on this issue. I'm not needed. All that not enough conversation. And then I prayed. And I tell people I really believe in the power of prayer, but the biggest power of prayer is being willing to hear the answer. And uh, I prayed and I asked what I should do, and the universe told me, Julia, if you know that there is an injustice happening and you have the opportunity to say or do something, and you don't speak out and you don't act, your inactions are as much a part of the injustice in the world as the actions of others. Yeah. <laughs> So I went, I guess I asked for that, I guess I have to take action. And luckily for me, I found out about tree sitting and even though I didn't know how to be an activist, I knew how to sit in trees and that's what led me to living in a tree.